are at James River Equipment in Greensboro, North Carolina today. I always like coming here. They always uh, working on things that uh, remind me of my past, my Marine Corps days as a heavy equipment uh, mechanic. So, yeah, always enjoyed working on machines. Our machine today is a 650K straight ahead of us, right there. Just needs a modem, brand new system. We'll put a, a cellular modem on it so they can get eyesight and uh, maybe tap into the network when they need to. That's the machine right there. So, And that's our machine right there, 650K LGP, smart grade nice how they got all the cables running up now very nice nice and clean our MCR 3 is in there this is not the easiest way to uh, install the modem but uh, you know it, it's not bad to get to um, we just have to take this B cable off everything goes into that go through an access seal Hopefully there is an access seal back there, but they're making these so tight nowadays You can barely get your hand in everything. What I normally end up doing uh, is just taking this panel off That way I can get in there and uh, get get at things a lot easier But I should be able to get that B cable on and off without uh, moving too many things so and there is our display Let's see if it has power Nice, we have power. This is the John Deere Smart Grade system using Topcon, so Topcon technicians are able to get into it, unlike uh, what Komatsu does um, with our systems. With Topcon systems, they, they lock us out. They lock everybody out, even the operators, uh, even the owners <laughs> when they buy it. So weird, I'm not sure why they do that. John Deere doesn't do that. Uh, we actually, um, we have a joint venture with uh, James River Equipment, uh, John Deere, so very awesome. I imagine everything is updated on this. We just have to install the um, eyesight program. Yeah, see, it doesn't exist. So we'll just install the eyesight program for the cellular modem. But first, we need to install the actual modem. Yeah, so let me see if I can get in there and knock that B cable off. All right, there we go. Just a couple zip ties and uh, got the B cable out. We need 37, 38, and that whole front row right there. We need to take these little, small little red pins out. Sometimes you can do it with your fingernails, sometimes not. And install our modem. First, we need to find an access seal in that tight system right there. Whew, man, that's tight. Looks like we can go up. Yep, there it is right there. I can see it. Okay, nice. All right, we got the data cable and the power cable fished through there behind <laughs> and up through that access seal. And uh, now it's just time to put it inside the uh, harness. Uh, I'm back. I uh, got recruited into uh, ground guide duty. <laughs> so we got this wired up. Um, just got to go inside, mount it, and uh, load the software. I think this is going to need a code. Maybe. 650? Oh, I'm not sure. Don't remember. Alright, so we got our data cable and our power cable run up through. Pull in as much slack as you need. And just find the best spot for it. Yeah, I kind of wish those larger antennas were on the other side, but I think that's probably going to be the best spot for it and safest spot for it. And you can still get it off the Velcro. Because I don't have much on this data cable. That'll work right there. That'll work. Just 
clean that spot off. All right, so that display, just gonna need a couple things to get that modem up and running. We're gonna need, uh, it's a GX55 display, so we're gonna need this 119 program. We'll load that, and we're gonna need this reg edit to make sure that we uh, register it in the system to activate, basically. That's it, those two things. Hopefully it has true on it. All right, so we are plugged in. We did have data. <laughs> we have power. We'll have to run the program. All right, so we'll run the uh, 119. And there it is right there. It's just gonna flash, basically. And when it does that, basically you can X out, come down here and check. See if you got the little ball, which you should have the little black and blue marbles, what I call it. There we go. It says connected. just not connected we're, we're just not chirping data right now so if I hook my laptop up to that I should be able to get cellular access okay for reg edit basically you go into your uh, flash drive and you load the program and we're gonna use uh, HK local machine go down to in it and we're gonna basically add some stuff in here okay and then under the value we're gonna add string we're gonna name it and enter the string we use That's a little tiny keyboard. Oh, come on. L. A. U. No. <laughs> That's a little tiny, tiny string. N. C. H. 83. Launch 83. Go all the way back. There's a period in there. This is much easier to do um, with an external keyboard. Launch 83. All right. And then for the value, forward slash hard disk, forward slash program, files, forward slash GX55119.exe, hit OK. And you'll see it pops in there. Everything over here is pretty much an automatic start, basically. It tells the system, use that. And that's it. And then the next thing you do, basically, once that's in there, exit out, restart, and make sure.
sure it connects automatically. If the modem connects, which it did already, so, I mean, that was a good thing, but if it connects with this new string, um, then it's good to go. Restart the system. Go in and check. There's no little marble there. So, all right, yep, yeah, so yeah, I did I did make a little mistake. <laughs> that, uh, that string value is case sensitive. So when you put in launch 83 and then the string value of forward slash hard disk, that's, that's all case sensitive. So uh, use hopper cases for hard disk, forward slash hard disk. It's H, capital H, uh, hard, and then capital D for disk and, and so on. Uh, and that's the difference. So once this pops up, we'll get out and we'll go in and check. Then it should automatically be there, so it automatically connects. Yep, there it is, right there. Awesome. And we just gotta sit here and wait for it to connect, and it should connect. All right, and we have successfully connected. Hit OK, power down, and this one can go to work.